programming uh, languages develop and you know how programming languages develop as well as you know how uh, hardware generations develop right these are not same right there are two independent paths to uh, these development phases and uh, anyway so with the invention of transistors with the invention of transistors there were huge reduction of the size as well as with the invention of ICs. ICs were created by using several hundreds or several thousands of transistors. Transistors integrated circuits. Then the invention of ICs again. So computer were computers were really, really, really small. And you could carry a computer in your hand in fourth generation. So palm tops, laptops were developed in the fourth generation. Right, this is a, a very popular image. So how many of you can recognize this computer? This is a computer, a popular image of computer. So how many of you can, so you can see uh, LSIs and ICs are there and fourth generation computer, what is this? Yes. This is called, so I think you have not uh, even interested to see the history of the computing. This is very uh, popular image of Apple One computer. This is a popular image of Apple One computer. And this is the motherboard actually, how Apple One looks like, the motherboard, how motherboard looks like. So was it open like that too? So yes, but uh, in the late, so in the releases, it was closed by this kind of wooden casing. This is just a demonstration, but when they sell, they have covered this using a wooden frame. So like this. So keyboard and all these things were covered. in a wooden frame, right? Right, then actually Apple II, so, but Apple I was not really popular one. Apple II, Apple I, Apple I was the first introduction. Apple II is, Apple II was really, really popular. So it looks like actual computer, no, it's not a wooden one, it's plastic and all, you can see. So Apple II looks like a computer. This is Apple II. Right. So it, it looks like computer and Apple II was immediately invented after Apple I. And at that time, when at the introduction phase, at that time, they to say that like how many units sold? I just added Apple II got 6 million units sold by 1984. I think that's the time of your parents. So you, are, you can ask from your parents. So maybe they have used Apple II. I, I'm not sure. So Apple II, uh, actually Apple I was designed. It's a hand-built one. It's not by Steve Jobs, right? It, it's by Steve Wozniak. Steve Wozniak, it's a handmade one, Apple I. But Apple II, so that was for selling. So Apple II got 6 million units sold. 6 million units sold. It does not say Asu Hathare. Million Hayak, we see Vikuna again, Hitlerabad. So that was the first kind of thing. Then there were competition between the personal computers because computers can be on. But earlier days, it was just a dream. Ne? Because uh, can we own a computer? So, like uh, you, if you want to own a computer, you need uh large building to maintain and you need three-phase electricity to supply you need people to work in your computer you can't work in your computer because you need many people to work in your computer it's like owning a it's like a, buying a factory getting a computer is like buying a factory so it was a dream for most of the people but with these kind of inventions apple one apple two ibm 704 these inventions so computer were more popular. Now we are in 2021. Just 
from 2000 uh, now to by 2024 by 2024 we have just passed 40 years just passed 40 years after selena pal 2 so think how many computers sold during that time right okay so just for your knowledge how many computers see how many computers sold each year right how many computers sold in each year so this is the invention so how many computers sold in each year now so it is it has reduced why it has reduced for the reason so after 2010 2011 uh, you can see like uh, three closer to 400 million sales but after that it is reduced why what's the reason come on guys walana kiyanna puluwa pote pote nadi walana kamanna kiyanna puluwa kohomada ai adu ennatte personal computer yes smartphones and tablet yes here you can see so personal computer selling it has gone down but you can see what has happened to smartphones so smartphones selling smartphones has gone up 1 billion by now by 2014 stores are to 1 billion 2014 right so simply personal computers will go down but tabs and these will go up so that is the reason that is the main reason right so how many mobile phones sold in each year so you can see now okay this is by 2000 so do we have statistics by 2020 this one it's also yeah 2021 you can see number of smartphones and end, uh, end users worldwide by 2021 so now how many so this is sales in million units right how many million units you can see it has gone down in 2020 due to this uh, covid issue but it has again gone up in 21 suddenly gone up, right so you can see how it's changing now so this is how mobile phones are sold so anyway with the evolution of mobile phone and smartphone computer sales gone down so you should know about the generations so please remember the years mentioned years or year ranges mentioned in your book ogolage pote tiyena ka mataka tiya gattana hari these years given in the note have slight changes හැබැයි වා වැරදි නැහැ සෝස් ටු සෝස් එක වෙනස් වෙනවා සෝස් එකෙන් සෝස් එක එක වෙනස් වෙනවා අපි ඕගොල්ලන්ගේ පොතේ තියෙන නෝට් එක මතක තියා ගමු for the examination purpose you need that note right so this is grade 10 book english just need to go to the lesson number 1 okay it's here i think yeah so you should remember these points so the first generation it's vacuum tubes and punch card were used you can see the first generation languages used machine language and the assembly language machine languages means the languages machine can understand machine walta theral language machine language kela kiyanne danne nattam liya kan machine languages kela kiyanne machine walata theral languages a language which machine can understand these these are machine languages so you can say on of on off on off on 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 that machine can understand that is electronics on off on off on off on no no this is basically machine language a switch electronic circuit electronic uh, device can understand this but machine to machine it is changing from air conditioner to mobile phone it's changing from mobile phone to 
uh, router it's changing from router to hard drive it's changing device to device it's so this these are device dependence so please write down that as well device dependent and assembly is a short version of machine language assembly is another language but it's actually how you shorten a machine language that is also device decision so assembly is is something like this if you have like machine language you can just short this by just say add and let's say this part says uh, register 12 and the next part says uh, a negative number or maybe number 33 one here two uh, four eight sixteen th 33 so this is something like this you symbolically represent the machine machine language by assembling the parts assembling this part assembling this part assembling this part 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 symbolically pendulum. that is called assembly language this is example right how it works this is also machine dependent or device dependent but after that after high level languages these are device independent so high level languages device independent that is the advantage machine languages are device dependent assembly is also device dependent but high level languages are device independent please add that to your note Okay, at the same time, I'll give example for uh, high level language also, then you can write down that example. This is machine language and assembly language, you saw that and high level language. So in high level language, you can see, you can see this kind of features. So basically you can say x uh, index equal 12 and int. IATY equal 10. You can say INT total equal X plus Y. So you can simply understand what's going to happen and you can print the total. So now anyone can understand what this program is. This program is basically adding two numbers and printing total. So anyone can understand. That is human, more human understandable. That is high level language. So please write all three, right? High level languages, machine languages, and assembly language. Please write all three with the examples. Right. Uh, now, the next thing. Is now you can see the first generation. So you have to remember these things, right? What are the technologies used in the first generation? So vacuum tubes, you know that. Transistors in the second generation. And so high level languages in the second generation, as well as the assembly was also there. Assembly and high level both were there. Machine and assembly both were there in the first generation. And uh, so you can, these, these are general things, right? High heat, so relatively less heat high power relatively less power expensiveness and uh, size is relatively less and examples you have to remember examples you have to remember and third generation you can see integrated circuits were used integrated circuits and in addition to that operating systems were introduced in the third generation and also so what do you think uh, is it uh, in the initial computers what kind of uh, in the initial computers, what kind of uh, technology used for output? Is it printer or monitor? Monitor? No, printer, printer. 
printer it is printer right that you have to remember so initially in the first generation second generation computers they use printer but in third generation onwards so in second generation also there were some print, uh, monitors but in uh, so after so here pdp 11 just search pdp 11 so pdp 11 means uh, so this is the computer pdp 11 uh, programmable PDP means a uh, program data processor, programs, program data processor. So this is the machine and you can see small monitor is there in the PDP. There's a monitor used with PDP here, all PDP computer, programmable data process. PDP means programmed, so programmed data processor, programmed data processor. So it uses a small monitor. Yes. Uh, right. Okay. So the question that you ask about the printer, I'll answer at the end of the lesson, right? Okay. So then uh, in the second generation onwards, so third generation onwards, so monitor was popular. And third generation onward, you know, without monitor, so monitor has become the primary output. Monitor has become the primary output in the second generation onward, right? Okay, uh, sorry, in the third generation onward. Then uh, LSI and VLSI uh, circuits were used, large scale integration and very large scale integrations were used, and floppy disks, CDs, DVDs, all kind of these devices introduced in the fourth generation and operating systems with GUI, graphical user interface, because initial operating systems are CLI, something like this. It has commands. So initial operating system, when you load the operating system, you cannot see anything other than the terminal. It's full screen terminal like this. When you turn on the computer, you can see the terminal only. It's full screen terminal. Or CLI. You can give commands like clear C. Clear is a command. LS is a command. You can say LS minus L to get more details about the files. And again, clear to clear this. And if you want to uh, go to desktop, CD desktop. And if you want to see what is there in the desktop, LS again. Uh, then uh, let's say um, clear again to clear this. To create a folder, MD, the soon folder, uh, sorry, MK. GIR person order will be created to go inside CHDIR the zone and you are inside that folder. Okay, CD. You are inside folder, less nothing is there. CD double door to go back and to delete R, M, G, I, R. So, like this, everything is command. So, when you turn on the command, Turn on the computer, after that, everything will be command. So that is the generation. Initial, uh, so third generation operating systems. Initial operating systems. But later, so they have introduced nice menus like this, icons like this, windows like this, windows, icons, menus, and graphics were introduced. That is called GUI or GUI kila kila. GUI kila kila. Then GUI kila kila. So you can just write uh, the terminology. What is CLI? That is command line interface. We will learn this in future lesson, right? But at that time, I will last. And GUI means graphical user interface. Online interface and GUI is graphical user interface. CLI is command line interface, GUI is graphical user interface. Okay, so then. Right. Keyboard mouse actually it came in the second generation, but keys were there in the first and second generation. But those are not keyboards. Those were not keyboards. 
So here you can see the first generation. First generation control keys. Oh, 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 this is not the one, right? First generation computers. So first generation keyboard uh, computers, you can see it's not keyboard actually. You can see. So no proper key, keys were there, but that is not keyboard. That is not keyboard and, but uh, when, you, when it comes to the second generation, small key pad is there. And when it comes to third generation, you can see uh, very good keyboard. So here also you had keypad and here also you have keypad. So anyway, keyboard or keypad is the first, uh, is that is the main input device, but mouse, mouse was introduced with GUI. Mouse was introduced with GUI in the third generation. Right. So, and the fifth generation artificial intelligence, it uses ultra large scale integration, voice recognition, handwritten recognition, character recognition, internet and multimedia applications, cloud applications, IoT, everything comes under this generation. So, currently, are we in third generation, sorry, fourth generation or fifth generation? What do you think? What is our current generation? Are we in fourth or fifth? Are we in fourth generation or fifth generation? Are we in one generation again? The fourth, the fifth. Fifth generation. Yeah, we are in fifth generation. Is the fourth generation is it over or still there? Fourth generation is it over or still there? Amat oh. Still there. Still there. So that is what you have to remember, right? So for even, uh, so it indicates in your book, the fourth generation is over now, no more. Still you can see VLSI, LSI based, VLSI, LSI based computers. In IoT and all, we are using LSI, VLSI sometimes. So still this fourth generation is going on, but officially we are in the fifth generation. Unofficially we are using fourth generation too. So officially we are in the fifth generation. Right, so with that, this lesson is over. But if you have any important thing, anything, right? any important things or any clarification from books anywhere from the first chapter, you can ask now. I'll give this five minutes to you to ask questions. And I'll provide answers according to your questions. Any questions? Up to now. Okay, one was asking how to uh, buy a computer, how to buy a printer, what kind of printer should I use? That depends. That depends on your purpose. So if you are going to print regular, if you're going to take regular printouts, printouts go dark gun on. So my recommendation is go for a laser printer because operational cost. Cost is cost will be low. Or printouts go dark gun on the best solution is go for a laser print. But if you want to print uh, only few, our Dramanikan print out the high with the maximum print out with then go to inkjet or ink tank or bubble jet. So ink tank would be ideal. I other than inkjet is cost inkjet cost a good cardoi, but a print take a cost a very inkjet cost is really really low. So if you go and just let's say uh, so used one, let's search for inkjet. It's Colombo. So others, if you have questions, please ask right inkjet printer. So cost of inkjet printer is you can say inkjet print is cost is around nine thousand, four thousand eight hundred. So this is basically. Uh, 9,000 or this 6,000, 5,000, that is the cost for inkjet. Right. So if you search for printer with low cost, inkjet or bubble jet would be the solution. Research a printer with a low cost, inkjet or bubble jet would be ideal because cost will be low. But laser jet, the cost will be a little bit high if you need black and white 
laser jet. It's around 14,000, 12,000, 14,000. That is the range for black and white uh, printer. So, but that will give you advantage of operational cost. It's very low operational cost. Print out a kade na gana do. Print out da hak pitra gana bulang ekat tone ekat. Abey ar ink jet ekin print out see hak pitra gama gana. Ita wasi ay purchase karan no ink. Ink tank print is good alternative. Ink tank you can print color prints. Ink tank printers color print out gana bulang and cost is around. So 22,000, 24,000, it's around 20,000. In tank print is a good solution. So now it's like cost is a little bit high, it seems. No, it's not much high. You can just buy it for single function in tank, <coughs> 31,000. Mm -hmm. So what's the difference between ink tank printers and ink jet printers? Ink jet printers, the cost of the ink will be high. Right? Ink, uh, cost of the ink will be high and Ink is basically sprayed. Same mechanism is used in ink tank printer, but uh, this cost of ink is relatively low. Cost of ink is relatively low in ink tank print. And you can take many printouts. Ink jet print taking Ganapula print out this year with the Ragama. Have ink tank print taking the Hakatalang in the Ganapu. So, cost wise, ink tank will be better. It is the newest one, right? Even you can print photos in ink tank print. Printing photos is also possible. The quality is quite higher than inkjet. Okay, so anything else other than this? Only about printers. No other questions. If you have questions, please ask. Then I can answer. If not, let's find out. Any any other questions? Okay, then please go through the lesson again. The chapter one, you won't get much questions for your examination. Chapter one, you'll get only a few questions, right? You won't get much questions from this session, but still very important chapter. Please go through all the points and understand that. Next day, we will start our chapter number two, right? Next day, we'll start chapter number two. So if you miss the video, please go through the video. Video I have already shared and it is in the WhatsApp also. And please go through the video and watch it. Then good night. See you all in next week. Thank you, sir. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Welcome. Bye.